Welcome to a new section, ThreadSafe Data Structures. I have good news for you. This section is the easiest to understand in the entire course. And also the knowledge from this section could probably be applied to more cases too. In this section, we will be delegating thread safety to data structures. The data structures that are already a part of Java. It's like Uber for thread safety. All we need to do is to choose the right class. Atomic types and the compare and set approach. And the first in the series of thread safe data structures is a family of atomic types. We will start with a demo, and after that I will explain the magic, how atomic types work. Let's start with the counter we implemented in the previous section with the synchronized methods. Instead of using a plain integer, we can use an atomic integer. Zero is the default value, we don't need it. Atomic integer is an int value that may be updated atomically as a single operation. To retrieve its value, we call get. It was easy. To update the value, we can use get and add. It atomically adds the given value, one in our case, to the integer. Or we can use increment and get. It does the same thing. Increment and get returns the new updated value, but we don't need it in our counter. In a similar way to decrement, we use decrement and get. Let's run it. And the result is correct, 10,000. With atomic integer, we don't even need the counter class. It can be replaced by an atomic integer. This is what I meant when I said that this section is the easiest. An atomic integer allows us to get the value with a get and update the value with get and add, increment and get, decrement and get, and other methods. In fact, we already used atomic values in the previous section, when one thread was waiting for an event initiated by another thread. Atomic Boolean allows us to easily update and read a Boolean value in a thread-safe manner. Now, how atomic types work? It all starts with the compare and set operation, which is guaranteed to be performed atomically. Compare and set, sometimes known as compare and swap, compares the contents of a memory location with a given value, and, if they are the same, modifies the contents of that memory location to a new given value and returns true. Most modern multiprocessor architectures support compare and set in hardware, and again, it's atomic. We can use compare and set operation to add a value in a counter. We get the old value, calculate the new value, and then use compare and set to atomically save it to the memory. We optimistically assume that the value has not been modified. Optimistic concurrency is the name of this approach. But this code would not pass a code review, because it doesn't cover the case when compare and set returns false. It can be easily fixed by putting this code block inside a while loop, which tries compare and set until it succeeds. It's simple, but powerful. It allows us to do thread safe operations without locks, non blocking. And as no thread is blocked, they are also deadlock free. This example illustrates how an atomic integer can be implemented. But there are other types which are implemented with optimistic concurrency. There are four atomic value types they are atomic boolean, atomic integer, atomic clone, and atomic reference. All of them, of course, provide a compare and set, but they also provide type-related supporting methods, such as get and add for integer we saw in the demo. There are several variations of atomic arrays which allows us to safely work with elements at a given index. These are atomic integer array, atomic clone array, and atomic reference array. These types are finer-grained and lighter-weight alternatives to locking. However, 
they were not created as substitutions for regular integer alone. For example, they do not overwrite equal and hash code, and therefore cannot be used in hash maps. One last thing. Java 8 provided new classes to work with alone and double. Adder, as its name suggests, adds value to a number and gets the sum. Accumulator is a more generic version of it, with an accumulative function provided in the constructor. Consider these types if you need to frequently update a shared loan or double value.